Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda She. I'm an anesthesiologist and intensivist. And today I want to talk about how much money I'm making here on YouTube. When I got started on YouTube a year ago, I did it because a year ago it was the end of 2020, it was the winter, I was a new attending anesthesiologist and intensivist. I felt like I had finally this extra time in my life, but I didn't have a hobby or an outlet or a creative outlet to be able to do something about it. So as a result, I said, you know, I would really like to dabble into video editing and video recording and content through this medium. So I decided to make a splurge purchase and buy my MacBook Air in order to do the video editing for these videos. My first video on here a year ago was exactly that particular uh, purchase and talking about unboxing it and my first impressions comparing it to my Lenovo laptop. Now, since then, I have created almost 20 videos. I ended up having to take a break. Things like that have happened. But that being said, I'm back and I wanted to share the monetization and the money aspect of this YouTube channel. A lot of people come to YouTube with this expectation that they're gonna throw videos out there and they're gonna have a bunch of subscribers and then they're gonna make a ton of money and they're gonna be a content creator and it's gonna be awesome. And then they can quit their day job and you know follow their passion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't really go into this channel with those kinds of hopes and dreams. I don't expect to quit my day job. In fact, I really don't think that that would be possible to support myself just using this channel. So I figured that this would be a fun outlet for me in order to share some things, to be able to educate, to be able to hopefully inspire some people that are going into medicine and to just be able to kind of be transparent about what my life looks like as a doctor um, and as a human being. I have really, really enjoyed watching various vloggers and being able to peek into their life and get an idea of what it's like in other professions and to be able to even to be able to have this chance to kind of see what else is out there and live vicariously through someone else. So even though I didn't come to YouTube or to create this channel for the money, I still think that being able to monetize this channel would be a goal of mine. So even a year ago, I did think, okay, what do I have to do in order to make money from this channel? For those of you who don't know about YouTube, one of the things that is a requirement in YouTube is that you have to meet a minimum threshold in order to monetize your channel. That means being able to add ads and being able to make some money from those ads. Now that is direct payment from YouTube advertisements rather than what many, many content creators and people on YouTube do, which are sponsored videos. And that's usually the main source of income for people. But in terms of just ad revenue, that's something that I thought that I would share today. But before going into the monetization component of this YouTube channel, I wanted to back up and share the fact that the reality is that there's a lot of sunk costs, there's a lot of costs that go into creating a channel. For example, this camera that I'm recording on right now cost me $686. The microphone so that you can hear me better and so that I don't cringe every time I edit these videos also cost $63. I also needed a memory card to put into this camera in order to record these videos and that cost $21. Now that all together is about $770 uh, for the camera and some of the stuff associated with the camera. Some other things you don't see behind the scenes are like this ring light. Ooh, how do you think I have beautiful lighting? Uh, and uh, the tripod that this camera is sitting on, those things also were costs from prior. Uh, and to add all of that up, it we're looking at about 800 plus dollars in just costs that I spent, in money I spent in order to really get this channel off the ground. That doesn't include the laptop I bought a year ago, which was $1,000, 
or the fact that it takes time to create an outline for these videos. So what you guys don't see behind the scenes is that every single video that I've created on here, I have written a little summary or a little kind of set of statements and things that I want to be able to cover so that I can have some level of organization for each of these videos. That takes time. Being able to actually record this right now takes time. Being able to edit these videos takes time. And then putting together the thumbnail and some of the other text and other things that uh, go along with this video also takes quite a bit of time. Now, if I add that time up and kind of average it over, over different videos, different videos take different amounts of time. The videos that I create for test preparation, like how to study for oral boards, actually took a really long time because it was a really long video. And there's a lot of resources I had to use, et cetera, et cetera. But some of the other things like a simple vlog about this new camera, that was a lot easier for me to edit. So on average, I would say it takes about five hours of time to create a video from start to finish, including writing up some what of an outline for the video, recording it, editing it, doing the uh, thumbnail and putting all the stuff together in order to post this onto YouTube, uploading it, promoting it on my Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. So all that takes about five hours of video. And I'd like to be able to put a little bit of a real world spin on this, which is the fact that the five hours I'm spending doing this each video actually is a opportunity cost for me because I can work as a doctor. And on average, if I were to go out into the world and try to pick up a shift and work for those five hours, theoretically, I could make around $100 an hour, just throwing a number out there. Now, if I'm making around $100 an hour working as a doctor and I'm spending five of those hours instead of working as a doctor doing this, I have lost $500 a video, approximately. So multiply that by 20 videos that I've done so far and we're looking at like I've lost $10,000 or I've at least invested $10,000 of my money in order to create this channel thus far. So that's like $1,000 for equipment and $10,000 worth of time cost. Now, you guys are all like, well, okay, that's cool, but you have 1.2K or 1,200 subscribers you should be making money by now because you've totally met the requirements. Aha! The second requirement for YouTube in order to monetize is 4,000 watch hours. Now I'm quickly approaching that, so it'll be fun to do this video again in the future because I have not yet passed the threshold, meaning that I have not monetized this channel and I've actually made negative dollars by having this channel. That all being said, I really enjoy recording these videos and coming up with ideas and connecting with you guys on a different level. So I consider this to be a fun hobby, albeit an expensive hobby, um, but you'll see me continue to do this just because I enjoy doing it. And yeah, so even though I'm losing money effectively doing this channel, you'll still be seeing me back here again. I hope this was an interesting video to you guys. I know it's a little different from some of the usual medical stuff that I talk about, but I thought it'd be fun to dive into this kind of stuff too. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to hang out with me again in the future and know when I'm posting future videos, either on life, vlogging, medicine, being a doctor, et cetera, et cetera, whatever comes to mind. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.